I, you know, I'm receiving quite a lot of scripts speaking about the atrocities of 20th century because I became the kind of expert on that and for quite a long time I just don't want to read it because I, I don't want to go back to, uh, to this kind of the, of the stories and the world because it's too painful and it's too costly. So this one also I just took, I, I started to read and it grabbed me. It, it somehow, the approach, uh, the subject, um, the relevance of the subject, and the, uh, the storytelling, which was um, very clear, very powerful, and non-conventional, it, it, it convinced me that it's something I would like to tell. Uh, first, I think that Holodomor, the great famine, big famine, Stalin's famine, it is one of the worst crime uh, of humanity in 20th century and uh, made by man or by the regime and um, very little known. And um, I felt like the, you know, the, the ghosts of this, of this crime are just calling for, uh, for place to for some kind of spotlight, for some kind of justice. So that it was like moral, moral, moral duty I felt when I read it. And um, Garrett Jones, um, the young man, young journalist, Welsh journalist, very well read, very well educated, very um, bright, and with great political instincts, even if he was only 26, 27 years old. His courage, his individual courage, and the price one is paying till now for this kind of the courage. What is the freedom of media? What is the, uh, what is the honesty of the media? Uh, what is the agenda of the media? What is the fake news? What is alternative realities? More we've been like advancing with this film. Unfortunately, more and more these questions became relevant and um, urgent somehow because I believe that we cannot have democracy without free media. Gareth was a, a, a good soul um, from the beginning of his life. He, he knew what he want, wanted to, to achieve and he, he paid the biggest sacrifice to achieve it. So I guess, and as Agnieszka says, in the, in the current climate of confusion and fear, um, to take something from him, to learn something is, is to, to be as courageous and, and clear in uh, the pursuit for truth and uh, empirical truth and and uh, in sharing that truth if it costs you you got to you got to pay that cost you've got to get out there i mean gareth was the most uh, as far as journalists are concerned as you say i mean right now there's so much conversation about fake news and the media and the role of the journalist and more than ever we need to protect journalists um, as agnieszka says there is no democracy without a free press so um, if this film can be a catalyst for that conversation and uh, hopefully garner the respect required for journalists and maybe even inspire some young future Gareth Jones to go out there and find the truth, and, then that would be a wonderful thing. I think that it's important to speak about the past. And when we, when we uh, were shooting in the, in the um, uh, small Ukrainian village, which is practically abandoned, very few people are living there, and mostly old women. And when we've been talking to those old women, they all have been the survivors of, of Holodomor. They all remember this very vividly. And they told me that for this decennies, for their entire life, they never talk about it. So it was the silence not only between like two nations, but it was the silence also inside of the families. And um, this um, silence is like poison, so. I want to celebrate the brave journalists. And I think if we make them truly the heroes in our everyday lives, we know their names, we know who they are, we follow them. Even those of us who feel lazy about doing so, it's difficult, it's painful, but to really, really put those people's names in our minds every day, that that they're the spearhead, so 
Um, I don't think the Durantes deserve to be called out. I don't want to hear their names.